Hey what's up guys, I want to share with you how I fixed my Dell XPS 13 charger because it has some problems. So yeah, I want to share with you first the problem. So I'll plug it. Then at the end, the port that you are going to plug with the laptop, you can see a light indicator that is blinking. That's not normal because if it's normal, then it should be steady and it's not blinking so let's try it on my laptop then you can see that there has no effect it's not charging my laptop but when I'm going to try and um, force the cable below here kind of find a perfect position for it it's somewhat kind that there's something loose inside this charger so as you can see it stopped blinking there you go it's not blinking kind of I push it hard that cable on the top of the charger and then the blinking stopped so we can try it on my laptop then check it there you can see the status that the battery is charging okay so what I'm going to do is crack open the charger okay so that's the only way we can fix this one because I think that there's something loose inside but the problem here that I can see it seems like it's very hard to open because I haven't opened a charger like this before so the only thing I can see is try to crack it at the side so that's what we're going to do okay I got this kind of steel cutter that we can use so just try to make sure that I can have um, a line so I'm going to make a line here like a canal so that we can start in crack okay so I'll also use a cutter so that I can go a little bit deeper then yeah okay I'll use a precision tool to kind of forcefully crack this there you go hmm right so this is my first time to kind of open a Dell charger that is this type of charger so, oh there you go it's up now here you can see that yeah there's nothing we can do much I, I I lift up the cover up then you can see these wires here I think the problem is at this part so yeah kind of there's some broken wires here hmm. so what I'm going to do is kind of cut these wires and then yeah I think this is still good yep okay so the next one I'm going to cut it here also so that we are going to remove the part where I think the problem is now it's very hard to remove that one so I'll get a driller kind of drill into this remove that piece of wire that is left over there okay be careful if you are doing this one try to clean it it's... yep okay so I'll plug in that wire so that we are going to use that one for the cover later on now I don't have the complete kind of tools here like a cutter wire cutter so I'm just using this to remove the shielding so we can connect there you go and on the charger side yep that's all we're going to do remove those rubber shielding right by the way I tried searching for a replacement and it kind of cost me around 
um, 40 45 dollars so I decided to kind of fix this one if I can't fix it then I'll just go ahead and buy but I believe I can do so I'm going to use that soldering iron to kind of uh, put some lead there so that we can easily connect them together but before we're going to connect I went to buy shrinkable tubes so that we are going to insulate those exposed wires later on after we connect them to make sure that we can connect these ones I'll just add more um, lead out there so that yep, I'm going to measure this will be used to cover the exposed wires after we connect the wires that we cut Okay, I'll just plug in those tubes. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's time to solder. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right. More lead to make sure that it's going to be connected right so we're going to pull up those shrinkable tubes so that it's going to cover those connected wires because we don't want them to be connecting to each other this will help separate and make sure that everything will be safe so you can see that to look like that mm. then we can heat up these tubes so that it's going to clump going to be a loose kind of things so that's what we're going to do with every single tubes that we place there next after doing that I want these wires to be stable so I have a glue gun here then we're going to glue gun those wires so that's not going to be moving if something's going to move this charger hold it up for around 30 to 60 seconds then it will dry up so I'll measure back in the cover, make sure that it's going to be good enough. Now, you're not going to get the right fit like the first one you have before we open this because, yeah, um, there will be kind of um, misfits. <laughs> That's okay. So I'll put a glue gun here to hold the wire again. Hold up for 30 to 60 seconds again to dry up. Then it's good. Then we can try this one already. But yeah, there is some um, um, space on the side. So I want to make sure that uh, it's going to be sealed. So I had a mighty bond, like a plastic bond. This will dry up in a few seconds. So there you go. I'll just wait it for the dry. Add more at the other side. Like that. And this is the part that we cracked in. So there will still be space that you can see. Now what I'm going to do is kind of plaster this one so that it's going to look nice. And kind of seal this part so that some particles will not be going inside. Okay. So simple as that then cut cut okay so that looks nice let's go ahead and try it plug all right I'm going to plug that and there you go you can see that it's not blinking so let's grab our laptop plug in Check the charging indicator. All right. Okay, we did a good job. Now take note here, guys. Not every single charger have the same issue. So it might be different from you, but you can also try and check if that's the case for you if you're trying to fix your charger. Now, if you have learned something from this video, guys, giving it a thumbs up would help this channel grow. And if you're not subscribed, Make sure to subscribe. See you in my next video. Goodbye.